Welcome in this second video about Infinity Kingdom. We are going to speak about commanders and immortals and what's the difference between them, comparing a little bit Rise of Kingdoms and Infinity Kingdom. If you enjoy my content, consider supporting the channel with a like and subscribe, it's free and you can always change your mind, because I'm gonna bring you more content that's gonna help you out. Let's go! Hello everyone and welcome to Wick Gaming. Many Rise of Kingdoms players, when they first take a look at the game, can notice a lot of similarities between Commanders and Immortals and not just in the name. If we open the Immortals page, the very first thing that comes to our eyes is that sequence of red diamonds on the right side, which indicates the star level of your Immortal or development level, we should say, which in Infinity Kingdom can go up to 7, while in Rock goes up to 6. Then there are the levels, which in Rise of Kingdoms go up to 60, while in Infinity Kingdom go up to 40. Upgrading the star level on Infinity Kingdom, so developing your immortals like in Rise of Kingdoms, will unlock more skills for you, more skill slots in this case. In Infinity Kingdom we also have the boost level, which is a third type of upgrade that you can perform on your immortal. If you click on the number next to the name of the immortal, a wheel will appear, and when you complete all the six spaces you can upgrade the boost level, obtaining more bonuses. How to do that? Simple, let's go back on our main screen and let's click on the last icon on the bottom right. Welcome to the Well of Time. It's like the expedition mode in Rise of Kingdoms, a sort of campaign against the game where you have levels to clear. When you clear those levels, you will acquire the materials to put in the wheels to increase the boost level of your immortals. If you click on any of the Well of Time stages that I have completed, you can see that every two levels you will be evaluated with a star rating, up to three. This means that you completed the stage in the best possible way, meeting all the final requirements, for example not having any immortal die during the battle. Obtaining a 3 star rating will consent you to skip all of the process of clearing the stage every time that you need the materials. So just complete the well of time until the point of not being able to proceed further and make sure to obtain a 3 star rating like I have here. Afterwards we go back to the immortal page, let's click on our Richard and we see that I can already activate this and about the Arony Thorns, I can click on Gain and I can rate this stage here that I've already obtained 3 stars on. So I can obtain these items without having to clear the level every time. In this way, having 3 stars, the game will clear the stage automatically without having to fight every single time. Pretty convenient, no? But that's not all for the Immortal upgrade. How do you upgrade the skills? In this game, Immortals have just one main skill that cannot be removed, because it's the specific skill of that Immortal, but you can basically learn every other skill. How to do that? Just go back on your city and go on this building on the right side of your castle, called Tower of Knowledge. Click Learn and a list of skills will appear. Upgrading the level of the Tower of Knowledge will consent you to learn potentially more skills. Learning skills costs soul crystals and also upgrading them costs soul crystals. So you don't need any sculpture for the skills, like in Rise of Kingdoms, so to say. But to upgrade the star level of development level of your immortals, you will need the immortals fragments. Rock players can imagine those like a special star for each immortal. As I said before, upgrading the star level will consent you to unlock more skill slots, for a maximum of 4 per immortal. Unlocking an immortal will also require immortal fragments, which you can obtain in different ways. Let's see them together. First way, you can open the corresponding version of the silver and gold chests in Rise of Kingdoms in the Hall of Immortals, thanks to those other types of stones, called Philosopher's Stones. Second way, you can buy immortal fragments in the market, that will require you either gems or soul crystals, which we'll speak in the next video. 
Third way, you can find a merchant while you are clearing the missions in the Mysterium, which is an event that resets every two days and where you will have to battle troops and complete a path. Imagine this like a Golden Kingdom event in Rise of Kingdoms. After you defeat any troops on the field, you get some extra bonuses, extra buffs that will help you proceed further. We will make a video about the Mysterium because it's extremely important to clear every time. Fourth way, the arena. This is like a sunset canyon of Infinity Kingdom. Clear your daily battles, that in my case are 5, use all the daily tickets you have and acquire this insignia currency. You can then go over the insignia shop on the bottom right and buy some immortals that you will honestly be able to max quite fast. Harald and Cleopatra. I'm working on my Harald right now because my Cleopatra, as you can see if I go over to my immortals page, he's already maxed. Option 6. The Alliance Shop. So go over your Alliance page and then click on Shop. I have a lot of Alliance coins stacked up as you can see on the top. When your Alliance hits a certain level, more Immortals will be unlocked for you to purchase. For example, Leonidas at level 8 or Yoshitsune at level 9. Seventh way, you simply can buy bundles. If we go over to Special Bundles, you can see that some bundles directly give you Immortals fragments. My best suggestion is to buy the daily deals if you are spending in the game, because you get guaranteed fragments. From each daily deal, you will get some mystery pearls, 5 plus 5 plus 10, for a total of 20 maximum pearls per day, and then you can click on redeem on the top right and buy Attila fragments or Alexander fragments or El Cid or Saladin. Maxing the level of an Immortal requires you 840 fragments plus 60 to unlock the Immortals themselves, in the case of a Legendary Immortal, which in this game is called Epic by the way, I always get confused, for a total of 900 fragments. All the informations are now on the screen. So supposing you are starting from scratch on one of those commanders and assuming that you don't get any fragment anywhere else, which is very unlikely by the way, you can unlock and max one immortal in just 45 days, so one month and a half. But surely that will take you less than one month sometimes if you buy all the daily deals, but that's up to you. By the way, if you want to buy bundles on this game, make sure to download the app gallery and then from the app gallery download Infinity Kingdom. And then from the settings of the app gallery, set your country to be Germany or Switzerland, because a bundle that costs 100 euros on Play Store or App Store will cost you here 25 to 30 percent less. If you want to know how to do that, just follow the links in the description down below. So we have a total of 7 different ways to get immortal fragments, not considering the events like the login events where you take stuff literally for free, or the lucky spin event which is kinda wheel of fortune event for Rise of Kingdoms where you can spend gems to obtain different rewards. So in this video we spoke about all the preliminary information that you need to know about your immortals. As you can see it's all pretty straightforward. In the next video we're gonna talk about your march setup, what you should prefer, how to upgrade your immortals faster and how to get the most soul crystals to invest in your marches. A lot to talk about, the game is very new, so stay tuned because I'm gonna bring you a lot of useful content to make you succeed very quickly in Infinity Kingdom. As always, I will see you on the next one. Ciao!